Hello, everyone. Today, I'll be delving into a recent court ruling involving Prince Harry and Mirror Group newspapers that has stirred significant attention. The ruling delivered by Mr. Justice Mon details allegations made by Prince Harry concerning more than 140 instances of the legal news gathering, specifically phone hacking by the Mirror Group newspapers. The court ruling unveiled a series of events where Prince Harry claimed he was a victim of unlawful information gathering spanning from 2003 to 2009. The judge highlighted that during this period, Prince Harry's personal phone had been targeted, resulting in the creation of several articles through phone hacking and unauthorized information collection. Mr. Justice Mann's verdict revealed that there was indeed extensive phone hacking carried out by the Mirror Group newspapers between 2006 and 2011. Shockingly, it was revealed that this illicit activity extended even during the Levinson inquiry, which was focused on media standards. The judgment explicitly mentioned the former Mirror Group newspaper CEO, Sly Bailey, acknowledging her awareness of the hacking practices and turning a blind eye to them. The High Court ruled in favor of Prince Harry, awarding him £140,600 in damages, emphasizing that while the sum might seem modest, it symbolizes the distress caused by the newspaper's concealment of their wrongful actions. Furthermore, the ruling stressed that not only was Prince Harry targeted, but also his associates, emphasizing the Mirror Group newspaper's pervasive and widespread misconduct. In response, a spokesperson for the Mirror Group newspapers expressed acknowledgement of the judgment and the need for clarity to move beyond events that transpired many years ago. The court's judgment not only held the Mirror Group newspapers accountable, but also implicated senior executives and editors, including Piers Morgan. The ruling highlighted their awareness of or involvement in the illegal information gathering practices and emphasized their deceitful conduct during the Levinson inquiry. Prince Harry's legal representative, David Sherburne, underscored that this case transcends mere hacking. It's about a pattern of appalling behavior and subsequent cover-ups. Sherburne emphasized the revelation of the shocking scale of wrongdoing through the court proceedings, implicating high-level individuals within the Mirror Group newspapers. Moreover, the judgment highlighted instances where Piers Morgan was aware of phone hacking practices, indicating his credible involvement that went unchallenged by the Mirror Group. Testimonies presented during the case, including one from now royal author Omid Skubi, recounted specific incidents showcasing the newspaper's unethical practices and the complicity of its high-ranking individuals. Prince Harry, through his legal representative, called upon various authorities and regulatory bodies to ensure accountability and justice for the British public. He urged investigations and potential charges against the company and individuals involved in breaking the law, emphasizing the need for a free and honest press held accountable when necessary. This court ruling's ramifications go beyond mere monetary compensation. It unveils a deeply rooted culture of illicit practices within media organizations. It underscores the necessity for accountability and justice, while emphasizing the importance of an ethical and responsible press in society. Thus, the judgment serves as a watershed moment, shedding light on the darker corners of media practices and demanding comprehensive reforms to ensure a fair and transparent journalistic landscape in the future. The testimony that unfolded in court highlighted an intriguing saga involving Omid Skubi and Piers Morgan, shedding light on a complex series of events surrounding phone hacking and journalistic integrity. Skubi's recollection, originating from a voicemail, provided the groundwork for substantial discussions in the courtroom. The judge, basing their conclusions on evidence, pointed to an invoice from a private investigator linked to the acquisition of Kylie Minogue's and James Gooding's mobile phone numbers. This incident, recounted by Skuba, left an indelible mark on him, shaping his journalistic ethos. However, the irony of the situation wasn't lost on observers. While Scooby's testimony held weight in court, it seemed to conflict with the narrative of journalistic responsibility and accuracy he championed. The courtroom drama punctuated by discussions about misinformation, rulings, and the ethical conundrum of phone hacking brought scrutiny to the characters involved. The judge's endorsement of Scooby as a credible witness regarding Morgan's involvement in the Minogue Gooding story was pivotal. 
Yet skepticism emerged over Scooby's reliability due to inconsistencies found in his published works, notably Finding Freedom and In Game, where details contradicted statements made by Piers Morgan himself. Despite the court's ruling on a partial count of allegations, there's no denying the severity of phone hacking, deemed both morally wrong and ethically unacceptable. The court's decision, while in favor of Harry on some counts, didn't fully meet his initial claim for damages. It's important to recognize the nuance within the judgment. Only 15 out of 33 claims were substantiated, shedding light on the complexity of the legal battle. Regarding the media portrayal of the trial as a resounding victory for Prince Harry, it's crucial to remember that Prince William had settled a similar case earlier for a substantial sum. Harry's triumph, albeit significant, paled in comparison to his brother's settlement, which was kept low profile. The courtroom revelations around Scooby's testimony and Morgan's alleged knowledge of phone hacking added layers of complexity. Scooby's reliability as a witness was called into question drawing parallels to previous instances where his credibility had been challenged in court, particularly during Meghan Markle's legal proceedings against the associated newspapers. The ruling's implications on Harry's future actions, potential lawsuits, and public perception remain speculative. While the judgment leaned in Harry's favor on some aspects, it didn't represent an absolute victory. The debate over Spuby's trustworthiness added another dimension to the entire narrative, leaving room for diverse interpretations and opinions. The legal spectacle underscored the intricacies of media trials, the responsibility of journalism, and the ethical ramifications of hacking. As the fallout continued, the story resonated with the public, inviting discussions on credibility, journalistic ethics, and the nuances of legal battles involving high-profile personalities. In conclusion, while the court's decision held significant implications, it also highlighted the complexities and uncertainties inherent in legal proceedings involving public figures. The aftermath of the trial left many questioning the reliability of witnesses, the intricacies of media ethics, and the broader implications for journalistic integrity. Dear friend, if you like everything new about the royal family and don't want to miss all the novelties, subscribe to our channel and like it. By doing so, you take part in our development. We work for you.